What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So every single week we do the same thing where I log on to my transmog selling only tune and uh, we take a look at how much gold I made in the last week. So on this bank tune I'm only posting farm transmog and crafted transmog and if you guys want to dive into crafted transmog get all the spreadsheets on how to get started where to get the plants and the patterns and all of that that is included in the zero to 10 million gold guide so big thank you to everyone that has picked up a copy lately and i'm so glad that you guys are liking the dragonflight uh, updates that i've done that's kind of like the key selling point of the book is the fact that you only get got to buy the book once and you get all future updates done to the book for free so there's people that bought the book on release two years ago and they're still getting all the updates for dragonflight for free so if you're interested in it, make sure you use the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT and you can find it linked down below. Now, uh, this week I sold 264 auctions, uh, which is a bit more than I sold last week. But last week and the week before, I made a ton of gold. I was like one week with 800,000 gold and another week with like six or 700, I can't really remember. And that is with like close to no work at all that's the thing like once you have your transmog crafter set up you literally all i do is log on to them like once a week recraft whatever i've sold and just constantly pump it up on the auction house whenever the auctions expire i don't even do any undercut scans i just post my auctions up for 48 hours and when they expire i repost them right even though you'll make a lot more gold if you actively undercut because there's a lot of competition on this right uh, but first 100 auctions, 74,000 gold. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a, a great week, uh, by no means. But you guys can see, it all adds up. There's not a single sale right here that's above 1,000 gold. But it's uh, mostly crafted transmog, and it all adds up. This kind of sucks, selling plundered island expedition loot for very low amounts. Same as this, Dusk Haven dress. Like, should have saved this for Dragonflight. These prices are really bad extremely bad but they sold and uh i just think it's fun to farm so i don't really mind but i know a lot of people would mind so um uh, they should have like a higher min uh on their tsm so you don't post anything for like 10 percent of its market value while well, me i battle the uh, the undercutters by always matching their price don't really care so my tactic is to uh, just follow them and uh, eventually it'll go like, shit, I'm not making any gold. I'm going to change realm. I'm going to stop uh, farming and crafting transmog. And next 100 auctions, tiny bit better. 193,000 gold in this one. Uh, deep tide from the nasty tar farm. Very good farm. Sulfur and hammer for like 24k. I think when I crafted this one, it was like... Uh, 2,000 gold profit or something like that. I used to sell these hammers for like 75,000 gold. Um, that's not really good. But it, hey, it's making a profit. Styling hats, like 2,000 gold sale. Used to sell for like 25 to 40,000 gold. I did sell my stink rock, the smasher from Island Expedition. But this was like 200,000 gold when I first got it. But I made a couple of videos on Island Expedition. So uh, I always assumed that the prices would go down. As there would definitely be some people watching those videos. Playing on my realm. Also doing it. But still pretty big sale. Uh, and that was. We only got 64 auctions left. Not sure how much gold we've made so far. Uh, 260k is that it? So I, this, I really doubt that this week is going to be uh, as good as the uh, the previous weeks, but uh, that's the name of the game. Like Some weeks are going to be really good because you got some uh, insanely high sale uh, transmog. Uh, another week's going to be more like this. More Dusk Haven, from, because I've done a lot of Island Exhibition videos lately, but the, the prices are bad. But it is 180,000 old cleanout, so there has to be something big. There we go. Dusk Haven Top Pat. Only 70,000 gold. That is so bad. And then I sold the Black Belt of Knowledge. Tailoring crafted item for 50,000 gold. That's a good sale. Windwalker boots from the Feather Handins in uh, Shatrat for 13k. Back in the days, it used to be like 70, 80,000 gold for these all day. More for the plate version. So once everything is cleaned out, the last 180,000 gold, we'll see how much gold we're going to make. I've been making more than normal the last couple of weeks. 
it's normally like roughly half a million gold, like 500,000, anywhere between four to 700,000 gold each cleanout. Uh, this cleanout, it was, if I go into edit mode so I can show you guys the uh, the chat, it was uh, 449,000 gold, which is well above a token in a week of doing uh, almost no work. The only work you're really doing is uh, having to repost thousands of items every second day. But besides from that, uh, the amount of farm, the transmog that I'm selling, there was some island expedition uh, on there right now, but I haven't done a lot of transmog farming lately. And the, the transmog farming that I have done, I haven't posted on the auction house because I always do like 100 runs from X dungeon and stuff like that. So it's uh, but mostly restocking with crafted and then some island expedition now. That was, however, it for today's video. So as I said, if you guys want to step into this, as you definitely should, because the, the, the best part about Crafted Transmog right now is the fact that you will buy super cheap materials from the region-wide auction house, and then you craft it in the Transmog, which is uh, like unique to your realm's auction house. It's not on the regional auction house, so the profit margins are insane. So make sure to check out the uh, Crafted Transmog uh, guide in the Zero the 10 Million Gold Guide book which is linked down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Got a ton of really cool Dragonflight gold farms coming up soon. And that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Until then, bye-bye.